Hey everybody, I'm Ruth Vault here. Welcome back to some more Cryofall. We're gonna go ahead and re-jump into the world via our local game. But just a reminder, there is multiplayer if you wanna play the game on your own. Definitely recommend picking this up if you like base builder type of things. Definitely ones that have huge worlds. But we're gonna go ahead and jump in. But before we do, I just wanted to say thank you so much to the publisher who gave me a copy of this. I could go ahead and play it for you here on the channel. As always, thank you so much. And also thank you to all of the patrons who help keep this channel running. So let's go ahead and jump back into it. And I'll see you back in just a sec all right guys here we are back in cryofall now here is where we are now this is our old camp so this was my original land claim i went ahead and built a new camp and you'll see why in just a little bit but we're really close to the water here and we're also really close to a bunch of mineral deposits now there is a ton of this map that hasn't been explored. I couldn't figure out how much of the map I hadn't explored yet. And uh, let's just say it's a lot more than I thought it was going to be. So right now I need to go ahead and actually pick up a bunch of... Oh god, what is it called? Fiber. I need to pick up a bunch of fiber. And as I said before, there is a ton of just running around and collecting things in here. So I have been doing mostly just random collection. It took me forever to move my stupid base camp over, but this is actually a better place to have a base camp because I actually had enough open space that I could put all of the different items down and I didn't lose any space. So kind of in a little bit of trial and error here, definitely learning a lot as we go. So now that we're back here and we've kind of got a place that we're actually living now and I've got a little bit more of a handle on the game itself, you'll see I actually made a little bit better of a home even. This is going to allow me to really kind of get into more of the mid to final game type of stuff because right now I've really been struggling with just kind of starting out. <laughs> so this will help a lot. I've also unlocked a lot of things since you guys last were part of this. It looks like I've actually ended up having to leave some things behind because I had so much. That's pretty much power for the chorus in here. I've been constantly running out of space. Um, I didn't expect to run out of space quite as much as I have been, but definitely been an issue in this one. So far the go up so far though is what I was trying to say. I really think that this game's amazing. It's so good. It's so much fun to play, but you have to be pretty careful. You can make a lot of mistakes in this game and that's kind of where I'm realizing I have had some problems. So kind of as I've been going through the game, I've been trying my best to match certain items with like where they came from and what they do. And I lost track very quickly of the different items that I actually had possession of. So let me go ahead and show you here. If we go into the primitive fridge, I've got a lot of different items in here and I'm not entirely sure always what they do. Uh, it's kind of hard. So I've let some things go rotten that I didn't know I would actually need later on. I've also had some issues with picking up too much of something and then realizing later it's not as handy as I thought it was. It's been a lot of that kind of stuff. So it's definitely going to be a trial and error game. But that doesn't mean that it's bad by any means. It's still a fantastic game to play and I'm really having a lot of fun with it. One thing I'll say though is make sure you build enough of these boxes because boy are you going to have a lot of items to store. And then try to remember which box is holding what stuff. That's an issue I run into quite frequently where I don't know which box is holding what and then I have to go through all four boxes every time I want to build something. So one thing that I'm trying to do is put all my building materials up top and then anything that is, you know, time sensitive as far as using it, I put on the bottom. Not like the best option right now, but it is working. So that's what we're doing right now. Now I'm going to need to build a new water collector. This has definitely been, I would say, one of the more difficult items. Um, as I've been making things, why isn't it building? I just noticed. Oh, huh, it looks like it's not building. Interesting. Oh, oh, I don't have this. That's why. Oh my gosh, I feel so dumb. Okay, so we need two things. We need stone and we need sticks. And of course, what did I just do while I was talking to you? I put both my stone and my sticks away. <laughs> One thing I have to say is I really hope that in future updates, and I'm actually going to leave this comment to over on Steam, that in future updates of this game, I hope that they're actually going to allow you to 
like select from your boxes that's something that at least in stardew valley drives me insane that you can't just grab from your boxes they're right there realistically if you are if you're here you're gonna know what you have like you're gonna know what you own right so i feel like we would all be able to kind of like figure out what items we probably have it's something though that doesn't seem to happen very often at least in games like this so you often can't choose from there and I, I find that just so frustrating the other thing is you can't actually set up like multiple items to just automatically start crafting as soon as the other items done I wish you could do that I wish you could kind of like string items together the funny part though is you can do that if you are oh here they are okay I was like wait a minute I know I had some of those if you are crafting from here which is fine but I wish that there was a little bit more like flexibility with that because I would really like to be able to you know tell it okay I want you to make me um you know, I want you to make me, like down here, iron. But as soon as the iron runs out, I want you to start making copper. That would be really useful. And that's just not something that currently the game has. Definitely going to be leaving some comments over on Steam. But honestly, a lot of those are pretty nitpicky. Like, I wouldn't say that realistically I'm really struggling with any part of the game right now. It's mostly just that there are certain things that could be easier and could definitely be, you know, more interesting for me if I was trying to like build stuff and things like that. Next thing I will say is that you can't move your camp like at all. You can't move it. And I kind of, I got to kind of feel like that sucks. I, I wish that it didn't, but I feel like because I can't move anything I have, every time you want to start somewhere else you have to start over we can argue about whether or not that's more realistic and therefore makes the game more fun i personally don't think though that it is that much more fun just because the game is realistic there's often no reason to really need to do a lot of that stuff so i just don't see why it matters necessarily I don't want to keep that on me, but it's so hard to know like what I should keep with me. I have been using a lot of the different food items to try and cook. That has actually gone pretty well so far. One thing I have to say though is the recipes. I really wish the recipes were easier. <laughs> And I don't mean that again, like, oh, the recipes are hard to remember, but they don't show you while you're putting them on. So you have to remember to look and make sure that you have read what recipes are available. Definitely another nitpick, but something that just, you know, kind of hit me when I was going through this. So we're going to try to make some jam real quick. I've been trying to make all kinds of different stuff. I'm really trying to push through the uh, different like options that I have here. Let's see. What did I do wrong? It's, oh, I need three of them. That's why. Okay. So I've been trying to make sure that I'm getting like enough of things. I still don't know what this is. I guess it makes oil at some point. Um, but anyway, I've been trying to make everything. <laughs> But I did find out one thing that's really kind of cool is the mulch. So once you start kind of getting a bunch of stuff in your inventory, chances are you're going to forget that you had some stuff. And when that stuff goes bad, you can stick it here in your your mulch. And this is pretty cool because it actually will help you grow your plants then. So if you want, you can come down here and just mulch it up which is awesome. And then of course we water it. I would suggest if you're going to play this to fill your watering can at your water collector instead of using one of your bottles, but it's totally kind of up to what's convenient for you. I personally tend to f be out when I realize that I need more water. So it's easier for me to come back to camp, but it just depends. It, it also depends on where your camp is. I have a feeling eventually we're just going to have multiple camps, 
potentially. You can play the game individually or you can play it with a group and I can really see where having like friends playing it with you would make sense then because you're not playing it alone. You have a friend's camp that you can go to or whatever. All right, so we're going to take this wolf. If you haven't noticed, it's a little bit more of a work. It's a little bit more work than I expected every time we have to do that. I do have hunter's tools now, though, so I can go ahead and loot the corpses quicker. I really want to be able to get more of that fur because apparently that's how you make some pretty sweet places. Oh, we're going to get some of that insect meat out of this one. Okay, there we go. So there's a lot, like a lot, a lot of grinding in here, as I mentioned before. I can't say I don't like it, though. I actually really like it. It's been really fun so far. There's not like a lot of places that there's not a lot of places that you feel uncomfortable, like, oh, I've had to do this so much. You know, I'm not getting enough bang for my buck. It's not enough time. Sometimes when you play a game, you kind of get the feeling like, okay, I've done this 300 times <laughs> and I've gotten like one stone out of it. This is pretty good. The balance in it is pretty easy. You don't have to grind too long to walk away with way too much stuff, way more than you can handle. One thing I did do though is I broke my leg early on. So pretty much right after I think I stopped the last video, I broke my leg. <laughs> And that screws with you because there's no way to fix that until you get into tier two of medicine and tier three is where you're actually going to like get a quick fix. Very annoying. I had to not run because my leg was broken. So basically you're kind of stuck near camp just long enough to get enough of the learning points um, or yeah, I, should, I guess they're, they're LPs, so I guess they're learning points, to get enough of those that you can actually do something. So like right now, my goal with my technologies is to try and get into something else. So right now we're currently in tier three. I want to get, you know, maybe something else. Like maybe I want to do farming. In order for me to do this, though, I have to unlock 100 LP. It's easy at first. It's one of those games that definitely lulls you into that false sense of security that you'll be fine. And then the minute you get into tier three is really when it starts to pick up. It's not that much of a problem, though. Like, I don't think it's that hard to me personally, but it is something to think about. It's It's got the same, you know, type of, of mechanics that almost every game has. And I think it's fairly balanced, at least for me. I haven't had to spend much time playing it to really get like to a place where I'm comfortable. If you spend a lot of your time exploring in the beginning instead of just actually going out and gathering, I think you would probably do a little worse. It definitely benefits you to do more gathering and to drop things off uh, frequently than to necessarily just go running all over the place to, to look around. Which isn't to say that it like discourages exploration. It's just that you really get, you know, kind of rewarded for being patient. I'm not patient, so that's hard for me. The other thing I, I have to say I hate is that I can't get down these. It, it drives me slightly nuts because you have to go to a specific spot to get down. And almost always it seems like there's a wolf at that spot. <laughs> But, you know, I mean, that's also part of the game, power for the chorus, but we all like our, our Skyrim where we can see a mountain and climb that mountain. So there is something I hope maybe later on we get something, I don't know, maybe some kind of bladder or something that would make it easier for me to go ahead and be able to explore places and get down and actually be able to spend some more time in the world. Ooh, okay. This is the first time I've seen this. This might actually be some, like ruins or something oh okay and we're also seeing our first one of these lizards that i actually think we might be able to fight oh my god look at that centipede looking thing okay maybe we can't fight this <laughs> there's more in there than i thought there was okay well they're safely behind there for now so let's do this definitely my knife works way better than my club which wasn't something that I would have thought. I really thought that the club was going to be 
a good bet, but alas, it is not. But definitely, when you fight, or when you, I guess I should say, when you start having to harvest animals, watch your health really carefully. You're gonna die a lot in the beginning. It's okay. It, you know, when you die, you don't really lose a whole lot, which is nice in this game, but you are going to lose a lot of time, which I, I will admit that that is pretty frustrating. One thing you can do too is if you're familiar with Conan Exiles, I mentioned before that this is a lot like Conan Exiles. I definitely still feel that way. It's got a lot of those same things. So if I wanted to go ahead and build a bedroll, I could go build a bedroll somewhere. Um, notice it's not letting me do it here. What? It let me do it before. Okay, maybe you can't. Maybe I'm wrong. You can place a land claim and then you can place it. I must be wrong. Oh no, I just gave really bad advice. So don't try to place a bedroll. <laughs> I did earlier and it worked, but maybe I just didn't realize I was still inside of my claim. I do have now two land claims. I almost had three, but I kind of decided that maybe it wasn't a good idea to keep claiming land, especially when I didn't know what was going to actually come out of it. Oh my gosh, these plants. Okay. We do need a lot of those to make that really work. And let's go ahead and eat. Uh, ba -ba -da. Let's eat you. Let's see, is there anything else? Not really. We can't get much out of the coffee beans. I mean, we can make coffee eventually, but it just unlocked that, actually, the ability to make coffee. So this is an area I want to go into. I'm a little nervous about it, though, just because, obviously... Ooh, okay, these are called the ruins. Oh, can they get through those doors or? Okay, I didn't know if it was gonna like bust through the doors or what. Oh, same thing here. Oh, what? What just happens? What just happens? The guy was poisoned. Uh, Psy influence. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm being messed with. Okay, let's look at what we got here. Anti-nausea. Um, we have to have something. Come on, come on. Uh, I'm trying to get rid of toxins, not have more toxins. Uh, ba -ba -da. I have more meds. That's a painkiller. That's not going to help us. Um, we have the bandage. That's also not going to help us. We need to take away the toxins. Gosh, I do not know what to do. I don't think we have something that I can use. Except, no, that gives us plus toxins. That's right. Oh, okay. This one removes toxins. Yes. Got it. All right. Oh, I didn't mean to drop it, but I did. I dropped it. Okay. Because I don't want to, like, not check these places out, you know? Especially because that looks like, oh yeah, okay, so we could probably use our crowbar and pry that open. Now, I do have the option of getting a, well, let's try to fight this guy. I'm so nervous. Yep, I knew I was going to die. I knew it. Okay, so you can see it really doesn't impact you that much to die. You don't lose a bunch of loot, at least in my experience. So I don't really know if it's that bad to die if I'm being honest, <laughs> but I'm also playing on kind of an earlier world, so maybe that's why I'm playing on one of the, like, a little bit easier worlds. All right, so let's just match all this stuff up. It took me a minute to realize what match up, match down meant when I first went through this. And let's see if we happen to have enough to actually make some more, some more of these. No, I need herbs. Okay. It's the the bane of my existence here and in Resident Evil. <laughs> the one thing we can do is we can grab like our jerky and stuff out of here and that will be helpful. So let's do this for now. I'm going to hold on to those since the toxins are pretty useful. I'm also going to hold on to this and these and then we're going to have to go and find ourselves some herbs. Overall, though, I would definitely say I've been having a lot of fun playing it. I've been doing a lot of 
you know, resource gathering and a lot of like checking things out. There's areas though I haven't been to yet. So you can see the beach temperate and the forest temperate. I still haven't gotten to those areas and I haven't crafted a musket yet either, but it's definitely going to be something I want to do in the future because I want to see how that works in the game. It definitely has a very like, interesting vibe to it. It's not exactly what I expected. But, like, that's a good thing. <laughs> I kind of think it worked out pretty well. I've really been struggling, though, with uh, trying not to pick every single item up. <laughs> you know, basically a classic gamer's dilemma. So because I died, I am now weakened. So you can see I mine slower and all that stuff. Obviously that sucks, but nothing you can do about it. That's the main, like, disappointment when you die is that you do have to deal with you know coming back in a weakened state so i guess that's your punishment for dying but it barely feels like a punishment if you ask me all right so what is this this must be somewhere we've already been oh yeah i think this is like a meadow this is considered a meadow yeah i've been hoping i would make it to some of those other areas but it's honestly been a lot harder than i thought it would be one thing I have noticed is I don't know if you eventually unlock any form of fast travel, but for now, dying has worked pretty well. <laughs> that probably sounds crazy, but dying actually works pretty well as fast travel. It's not as crazy as it sounds. Oh, that would make sense that eating jerky would be bad for me. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Okay nice that you get learning points for all of those things all right let's maybe go here grab some more of those the meadows are nice because you can usually find a lot of green herbs in them I'm not doing a very good job of looking right now if I'm honest but I think that's because I'm concentrating at least a little bit more on trying to get to maybe an area we haven't seen let's pull up the map real quick yeah I feel like I'm, I'm moving north pretty fast and that will hopefully get us up to some areas we have not seen before definitely the goal I don't know either if the animals get more difficult the further you go north or south but I'm gonna guess that maybe maybe that happens so far everything seems very normal it doesn't seem like anything's been harder or easier but I know that there's got to be some new stuff. You know, there's obviously got to be some different stuff that we haven't experienced before. Mm, okay, okay. So we've got a road here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? It's garbage. Oh. Okay, so we got some plastic. So it is. It's a garbage pile. Hmm. Well, you know, when there's weird apocalypses, those are always useful. <laughs> These are stone piles. We don't really need any stones right now. I have been getting the snails and the crabs lately. It's kind of weird that I would be looting this at the same time. Okay. There we go. We still don't seem to loot very fast, but I am weekend. So weekend really does tend to mess with you. All right, so we still need a temperate beach and a tropical forest. Ooh, we did not mean to run into a bear. No, <laughs> no bear, no. All right, I think there's a meadow over there. Ooh, bear gave up on us. Looks like we have another meadow here, probably. Which again, not a, not a bad place to go look for green herbs. Which we definitely need. There's a lot of these plants here that have the water in them. 